Known for its copper mines and as the birthplace of many Democratic politicians, including Rose Mofford, Gila County had one of the highest Republican voter percentages among all Arizona counties. This is the third presidential election in a row which heavily favored the Republican candidate, chipping away at once considered pro-union liberal stronghold. Jesse Canales reports how two mining communities are adjusting to their new reality. A county proud of its mining roots, union workers and a diverse community have long spawned a Democratic county. I was born and raised in Globe. Lido Rodriguez left his hometown of Globe to serve in the Marines during the Vietnam War. When he returned, he began working in the copper mines and joined the union. He spent the next four decades inside those mines. There was a strong uh, political Democratic Party here with most of the elderies that are already gone. Like the pennies made of copper, the times they were a-changing. The breakup of unions after the loss of copper jobs modified the political dynamic. I don't know if things started turning around on us and uh, we have no unions in this area anymore. It's all controlled by companies themselves. Statewide positions the county as a whole is voting almost two to one if not more for Republican candidates. George Califf, president of Data Orbital, a data analysis and political consulting firm, says this election the shift to voting for conservative candidates in Gila County continued. I was looking for somebody who really was not a career partic politician. President-elect Donald Trump's business experience and promises to cut back on the EPA regulations had some Miami Globe residents thinking of the benefits it can bring their copper towns. Copper is needed in so many areas by selling more copper, not only you know here in the United States but to foreign countries, um, that it would increase our job. Which could ignite another copper boom. In Miami Globe, Jessica Nolis, Cronkite News.